welcome back for Techie Tuesday. Today I'm showing you how to digitize hand lettering using Photoshop and Illustrator. And the first step to this is going to be getting some hand lettering down. I took a regular felt tip pen. Um, this one's the Tombow dual brush pen. And I'm simply writing the phrase, you got this, um, onto tracing paper. Then I grabbed a my iPhone took a picture of it and transferred it onto my computer using Dropbox. After that, I opened it right into Photoshop. And once open, you're going to want to head over to the left-hand side. Under the eraser tool, you can find the magic eraser. This is what I use to delete the background. You can simply click, um, but you're going to want to pay attention to the tolerance. Mine is at 50, which means it'll do a good job of distinguishing between the off-white background and the black text. Um, the higher it goes, the more it will delete. The lower it goes, the pickier it's going to be. So um, play around with that and see the results. If you click something you don't want, simply Command Z and undo it and continue on, Make sh making sure to delete all of the little pieces inside the letters as well. Um, then, if you notice any inconsistencies or bumps in your lettering, you can erase those out. Go around and fix any of that. And you can do that by zooming in close to see all the little mishaps. Um, then you're going to want to open up the Adjustment Levels window. This is going to make your blacks blacker and your whites well, you don't have any whites now, so basically drag your black all the way to the right-hand side, and you'll notice that now your text is completely black. Then you're going to want to continue fixing anything you missed. Um, you can be really picky or not so picky because we are going to drag it into Illustrator as well. So um, you can also grab your brush tool um, and fill in any spots that are missing. Um, this is all pre-illustrator, so after you have it pretty much how you want it, you're going to open Illustrator and you're going to go to, under the file menu and create a new document. I simply made mine an eight and a half by eleven letter sized document and kept it at a vertical orientation. You can rename yours if you wish and then click OK. Go back into Photoshop and simply drag and drop into your new Illustrator window. You'll notice that from Photoshop, the file is going to be quite large. Um, you're not going to want to reduce that quite yet. You're going to want to wait till it's a vector to reduce the size. Simply do a simple trace. Should be good because you did bump up those levels and get your text really black. And then click the live trace. And then once you're finished, click expand. This will make sure that everything ha has points now and then you can resize without um, deducing the quality of the text. You're going to select your text with the black arrow from the left hand menu and then select each word with the white arrow. You can zoom in so that you can see any inconsistencies in the text and that's what we're going to be working on now. So select your letters and then under the pencil tool you're going to cl click the smoothing tool and simply draw along the path that you want to smooth. Keep in mind that it's taking away any extra points and really simplifying your lines. So try to stay away from any corners. You'll see that it will change those into rounded parts. So if you don't want that, just pay attention and command Z, undo anything that you aren't liking as you're smoothing. 
and just continue this process for each of your letters. After you're done smoothing, any points that are still sticking out or bothering you, you can feel free to go in with the delete anchor tool and remove them individually. You'll want to zoom in a little bit and then click the point with the remove anchor tool and you'll notice that it will go away. Then to smooth any extra points, you're going to want to click the anchor and adjust the handles with the white arrow tool and play around to get the smoothest line that you feel is best for your letters. This is optional. You can simply use the smooth tool. You don't necessarily have to get into adjusting any handles or anything like that, but it is an extra option if you want a little bit more control over what your letter is doing. Once everything is completely fixed, you can center it and resize it as much as you want now that it is a vector. You can enlarge as big as you want without changing the quality. And then you're going to want to just file save as an AI Adobe Illustrator file. That will make sure that you have all your vectors in place and will have that file to reference. You can also choose to export it as a PDF if you're ready to print it or something like that. Um, but for now, I do recommend keeping it as an Adobe Illustrator file. You can also save your Photoshop file and any other versions that you wish to use in the future. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. For this and other techie tutorials, go to www.thepapercurator.com. I hope to see you next time. Till then, XO, Cecily.